Hi, welcome to this Article Linux 19.6 edition, so the edition for June. I've just made an, an upload to, to all um, people concerned, so all social media and Discord, that we are ahead of schedule. We can beta test or you can beta test the 1906 edition, so the June edition starting from today. 28 ISOs have been built and I have a surprise that's number 29 and that's what the topic is all about. There seems to be one more. So why 28? Let's count. We have 13 desktops in full and in minimal. Those are the Arc Linux B, that's 26. And then we have Arc Linux and Arc Linux D. So that's 28. So there's one more, 29. If you follow the link here, then you'll find the place to be. So on seat host on our Arc Linux data center in AAG, meaning that's the Arc Linux auditing group. So this is the ISOs for people to test before we release them officially. It's gonna be on here. And if people have time to test it out and tell us on Discord, everything's okay, Eric, uh, everything installed fine, thumbs up, then we know. And if it's not, then please tell us because that's the reason why we put it online so we can beta test it before it releases. So everything is on here, a lot of files, and there's just one more, something strange that's called Article Linux B XFC Bear. So we're gonna talk about that one. Now, when you are into building, so you know that Article Linux B website is all about making your own eyes. So, so not waiting for us to um, make it and, and you can download it. That's not the idea of Article Linux B. In this case, this month, we've done it because um, there is something special about this month. And that's the case. You can see all of that information on the information website. So Arc Linux has a beta channel here, beta page, where you can find all things concerning the, the beta version. So in the in-between developments, in between the ISOs. So you can see what's going on. And one of the things that we've uh, done is implement the newest version of Calamares. And it's, well, it's, it's quite, um, um, well, uh, changed really. Uh, we can also now, um, for instance, uh, encrypt the hard disk with a password. I've made a tutorial about that already. So here's the information, the technical information from the guys from Calamares. So if you're thinking this is us, no, nope, it's in a separate project altogether, but we endorse it, we helped and we, we put in. Um, we we'll put issues on them so things get better. So yes, we are proud users of Calamaris. It's an easy graphical installation. Four, five, six steps, boom, Linux is installed. That's how it should be. So that's um, why we have 26, well, uh, 28 and apparently 29. So one more built and tested out. So it took a little bit of time testing all these things. So that's uh, consumed, well, enough days so we can use those days and then provide it to you. So the 26 is just the Arc Linux B things. Okay, so we have um, Arc Linux B online. Now, if you are really into building things, and I've made that uh, point to somebody on Facebook, says, hey, Eric, is it possible that we get all the Arc Linux B stuff just in one go? Because the Arc Linux B, uh, scripts are on github right so you github article next b this thing and you get all the scripts now you can do it one by one and say i'm gonna install that one clone git clone etc or is there a script direct to get everything in and you'll see the thing we're talking about is the bare one and it's uh, the definition of bare is well barren and, and and wasteland and i mean i mean it's minimal even more minimal than the minimal. So it's really stripped and it's, I don't know, uh, around 850, if I remember correctly, because it has been already a while ago that we have developed it, April the 3rd, and we've just kept it quiet. But maybe it's interesting because, well, <laughs> uh, it, it got onto the, the ISOs, it, it just ran like any other ISO, and it's on the AAG. Now we're not gonna make any more bears because then everything will be way too big. So 23, as I mean 13 and 13 is 26, it's uh, 39. No, we're not gonna make that many uh, 
uh, ISOs. The thing is, the only thing we've changed is a file, just one file. And then you have also minimal. So this is just a thinking exercise between Xeon CPU on Discord and me. So, okay, let's make something minimal. And how low can we go? That's basically the fun we had. So it's just a fun exercise, but maybe you can learn from it. So that's the video. But let's, con let's continue making all kinds of, of um, extra knowledge. So I've Googled here the words Arco Linux, Arco Get Started One. That's something you need to remember. And indeed Google gives us a link, the link that we need. This, this is what I do and it's explained here in the video. So let's show it again in this article or in this um, video better to download this thing since I'm already logged in. I'm gonna download it like so. And then what you can do as well, if you're really into this building thing. Okay, so I've made a tutorial about Antergos, how to move from Antergos to Arco Linux. And that can go like this. Extract here. So anybody can get this, this link. This is just a public link. And what's in here is an Arco Linux B folder with this little script. Update Arco Linux B gets. Update means get it. So if you say, yes, I actually like to have this. So you, well, don't copy paste everything probably. You're just gonna copy paste this one, but I'm gonna take everything. So copy, Eric, control V, everything is there already. So replace all. And what it is in here, these are all maintenance scripts. You can have a look if you like the script. But basically, if you just want the Arco Linux B things, and I want the bare one, right, the XFC bare. So I'm gonna say, well, do get me everything. And there you go. You walk away, going to take your a sip of your tea or a coffee, and you come back and you'll have 29, 29. Um, folders okay so every one of the f the elements that we just saw up here no up here all these guys are being downloaded just with a small little script and it's just smart to do scripts it's easy to do scripts then you can walk away and let it do its job so 26 it says this means that my XFC minimal is not yet in the script. I should update it. But basically, um, let's do that one manually then. So the bear, well, let's do it together. Let's make it an even more longer tutorial. So Arco XFC bear, right? The only thing I need to do to update the script is Control C. Well, what am I doing? Control C, double click it all the way down, look for XFCE, which is not the last one, XFC minimal, this is XFCE. Control C, and I know I can make this script in the meantime smaller, but whatever, it just works. Bear, that's it, safe. Now I've, I should recheck, Check and check. Okay, save. So I need to update my script later on, but when I rerun it now, it's gonna skip everything because everything is already there, already up to date, already up to date. Great. But there is one new guy you don't know yet. And there is my XFC bear. So we have 27 plus the two Arc Linux and Arc Linux D is 29. Now, the thing, the fun we had, uh, Xeon CPU and I, was just figuring out what can we put a hashtag in from, because basically that's just it. We just compared these guys, compare. And we have, we have some differences here. So uh, let's see, bear is the, the one in the middle. So this, the left is XFCE. So the, the full version, the middle is the bear version and the minimal is, is what we used to have with all the others, like BSP, WM, minimal. 
So the only thing we could actually say, okay, well, why we don't need Clonezilla? Okay, Clonezilla is out. Do we need do we need Weeby action? Ah, we can delete that as well. Okay, out. Save. We've fixed it as well. So that's the the power of this little tool. It's called Melt, and it's I found so many interesting things just by um, comparing all the time. So Xterm is something we got rid of. Sorry, we just want to have a bare XFCE. So thinking, what can we get rid of without breaking the system? Of course, that's uh, something else. So we don't want any Bluetooth stuff. We don't want modem manager. So we want this, that, but never mind about OpenVPN. Don't want that. And we're going like that all the time thinking, what can we get rid of? And we'll see later on if we need to add something because we know what we should add, right? We, we know what we're missing. We see here this catfish difference. Come delete this guy, that's better. And calculator. So in the meantime, I'm gonna fix some stuff as well. So we should have less and less and less stuff, but it should be, the middle should be even less than the minimal one. So maybe another exercise, let's save this thing. This should be maybe easier for you guys to, to compare because voila, Clonezilla. So the left is now the bare one and that makes it maybe a little bit interesting, more uh, readable. So here are the hashtags. A lot of hashtags should be on the left side and the other guy, the minimal guy, will install it. So no fee, no wallpaper setting, whatever. Okay, so lots of sacrifices, lots of things we, we threw out. Um, it's okay, we need this one for fonts in, in the um, terminal. We do need this thing because that's the basic font of XFCE and so on. So Lightm, yeah, we do need Lightm, etc. So we're thinking what to get rid of and there are some differences here. The dialog has not been updated, I guess. So dialog is back at the bottom. So this is just an exercise. The bear is just an exercise. We, we don't maintain it. Uh, it's just a thinking exercise. So the dialog is at the bottom in the newer version of minimal. But it's, it's something to start. If you say, hey, um, I want to make a very, very minimal BSPWM. Well, well, take a look at what we have been doing with this particular desktop environment, XFCE. So here we see something lip indicator, JTK3, which is not included there. Gonna type it over here. So it's the same, whoops. Don't need it, but I need to have the same line that's out, that's not needed anymore. Tries and is out, so we just have yay. If yay breaks, we don't can, we can't install anything from AOR. We don't have an alternative. Okay, such things we were thinking. Let's get rid of that package, of Arch Linux, that package, that package, compared with the minimal one. So non conkeys we don't want conkeys. And we're no faces, no fonts, lots of things thrown overboard without breaking uh, the system. And that's what we do. All right. So this is okay, but basically it's just um, where it says, where, where you put it. The network manager is somewhere else defined. So it was double. And I think that's it. So that's an update already of this, this little uh, well package. So, so what I'll do is now afterwards gonna update and push it back to the net, to GitHub. And you can see my changes again. So you see, it's just some text that is changed. So the same, you don't need to see what uh, elements are the same. You just want to know what's the difference between one and two. 
So we can go over it again. The in things I watch out for is that it's um, the lines are straight. The blue line should go always horizontal. If there is a, a bump in the road in, in the design here, then something is missing or something is added or um, well, the hashtag is, is obvious. So hashtags means it's not installed. And that's why it's blue. That's why it's different. So this is a bump in the road. So this wget is in here. Control find wget next and next. You see there are two of them and that's why it's out and that's why we get this bump. That's great that this just happened when I said it. So all the lines should be horizontal is the first check you should really watch out for. Hope I haven't skipped any. Like I said it's not important. The thing is it's a thinking exercise. You do the thinking afterwards and um, use it for other um, desktop environments. Okay so this is XFCE bear and all I do is push it now back to the net. Um, let me think. I think I can do that like this. Okay, I can, but let me uh, pause the video here. All right, these uh, guys have been pushed to the net. It's just this one that changed. The other ones were, were uh, still the same, but I check it anyway. So this guy has nine commits. When I reload it, it's going to say 10 commits during video changes. So what did we change? We we set the hashtag before this guy. We set catfish is out. Dialog is out. We get is done, gone. XF burn is gone. Lip indicator has been added, but it's not applicable. It's not, it will not be applied with the hashtag in front of it. We've added this guy, but hashtag is in front. So will not work this, that. And um, it's, it's obvious that that's the way how you should do it on your own GitHub. So make your own. Article Linux XFCE, I don't know what, give it a name and um, start changing elements like we were just having fun and, and doing, thinking, okay, what can we get rid of and make even smaller, the smallest possible ISO. But of course, you'll always see if it becomes really your ISO, you'll see you run into issues. You'll, you'll have to say, okay, I have to, have to install this now, I have to install that now. Yeah. But it's also a learning experience, so well, it's up to you to choose what you want to do. So anyway, we have now this article next uh, bear thing, and why not include the very last step? So if you've decided to, well, decided what goes in this thing, the only thing you need to do is just open here the terminal, say run me number 30, and then everything kicks off. And let's stop the video at that point when everything is starting to download and install. So there you go. You have your own Arctic um, XFC bear. Just make another one, XFC BSP WM bear, but don't ask us. The thing is, learn from this, compare, use melt, try, 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 and try again. And you'll see at some point in time you say, whoa, this is power, this is freedom, I can do whatever I want and have your, my, you have your own ISO, it's on your USB, you can pop it in anytime you see fit and uh, update because it's still a, a, a rolling release, there's no need to reinstall all the time, only when you say now I've been experimenting too much, it's broken, I got it, really broken, so you put in your USB and you go ahead again. All right, um, one last thing maybe, let me remind you if after a clean install, I always do an Arch Linux Nemesis. So I suppose when you have a XF XFC bear like this, then you have to run your, well, scripts later on. So probably something uh, equivalent, uh, similar to what I do with Arch Linux Nemesis. All right, enjoy the learning uh, experience. It's, it's fun to do, it's uh, awesome and fast Arch Linux slash Arch Linux. So that's um, why we are building up on it. All right, enjoy.